the bigger our software gets, the harder it is actually to keep the overview. And therefore, it is crucial that we give our projects a good structure, which usually means a separation of concerns. We want to separate the UI, the business logic and the data source so that we and our colleagues can easily and quickly understand the software, that we can easily extend it with more features and that we can easily test it. That's where architectural design patterns come into play. When it comes to Android apps, MVVM is the most popular one. It stands for Model View View Model. Let's take a look at this recipe app. The model represents the data source, which is often represented by a repository that just collects all data in one central place that can be data from a database, data from a remote API, or just data from both. The view model contains the business logic. Business logic is just the real program logic that isn't just updating a UI element. So for example, filtering a list or validating user input. The view model is in direct communication with the model to get access to the data it needs. Lastly, the view is the visible part of the app. It contains all UI elements and gets events from the view model when it should update its views. Important is that the view shouldn't contain any business logic. It should only contain logic to directly manipulate views. Together, this is a powerful pattern that makes your software scalable, easily understandable and testable.